Hello Pisces and welcome to your weekly reading. No, it's not a coffee cup reading because I am on vacation, but I did bring my tarot cups with me so you don't miss out a weekly reading. Follow me on Instagram. I'm still posting the weekly, uh, weeklies, uh, daily readings and also birthday readings. Okay, so let's see for the week of August 3rd through the 9th for Pisces. Pisces, Ten of Pentacles. Okay, money. Queen of Swords. Interesting. Okay, so this could be dealing with um, money's on the mind. This can also be property matters um, with the Queen of Swords here as well. Ooh. Some of you may be really seriously working on... Yep, like I said, working on money, business, or this could be also anything that you're working. could be even school. Two of Swords and the King of Cups. Okay, with the Two of Swords here, there could be some choice and decision that you're going to have to make. You're going to have to trust your intuition, maybe dealing with a water sign, but this is rebalancing your energies as well. You have the Six of Pentacles, so you got a lot of um, money cards here, so Pentacle cards. So this, again, is very generous energy. This is sometimes um, receiving a loan, working gaining sometimes it's um, a sale of an item as well very generous energy ah watch your generosity too because you do have the devil here okay there can be some surprises with money this is one way i am feeling and picking this up as well okay there's another thing i'm seeing here as well let me just keep pulling because i don't like leaving it on major can now you got the moon okay the sun the Chariot, and the Four of Swords. All right. Pisces, this can be a very significant week, okay, because you got so many major arcanas here as well. All right, so let's kind of look at this. We're definitely seeing some kind of money. Money could be coming through, too, or this could be money worries, okay? With the Queen of Swords here is definitely is you're taking some kind of control power. It's like you um, are putting your foot down, so to speak. With the Two of Swords, definitely we're seeing um, needing to make some kind of a choice, a decision, even trust issues. But at the same time, this is um, something maybe that you're holding back. You're not communicating. There's a, there's a sense of that as well. Um, uh, talks may be needed, too. This is advice, talks, wisdom, but trust your own intuition here, too. Watch the give and take, too. There's something there. If someone wants to borrow money, uh, you may not get it back, okay? There is this uh, double that comes through here, too. So something may, you know, come in and kind of throw a wrench in your way. You have the moon. You're dealing with some kind of delays, and there's something that is still not... Um, there's a sense of deception. Something is not exactly seen here, but you do have the sun. So it's a nice combination here, too, I want to say, because something will be shed to light. It's the birth of something new. You have the chariot, too, so this could be travel. This also is unexpectedly things will just work out your way. But there is something about slowing down, especially if you're traveling. Uh, you need to take some kind of breaks and things think things through. So there is something there, too, and separating from something. Um, I do see this as a good week for, I don't know, having fun, celebrations. This can also indicate overdoing things. It's a bad habit, a fear. Um, there is something there that's around you. But I do feel also you may, at this point, there is either something that you've been worried about, maybe some fears and that it will be leaving you. You have quite a bit of few energies here as well. Um, I do feel here that there will be some kind of a victory. Things will just go your way un unexpectedly, maybe even last minute. The thing is, a lot of things that I'm sensing here, not everything's going to turn out the way you thought it would be. Okay, there is a sense of, you know, we're dealing with delays here. Something comes, uh, something comes to light here. But I feel not everything that you thought or the way you expect it, it's not going to be the way you thought it would be, okay? There's a sense of, um, I don't know if this is someone, again, someone may snap at you. That's another way we're looking at this. Or someone may be just a little bit harsh with their words. I feel you could be dealing with some kind of, um, watch the anger. There's a sense of frustration, anger here as well. There is something here that's kind of negative that you feel held back, held back, held back. 
I am picking up, I don't know if there's a Sagittarius that's involved and a Scorpio as well. There is that energy that I'm picking up here too. So you could be dealing with a, like a Scorpio that I believe a Sagittarius may, may come into focus here as well. Now, there is a lot of few beginnings here. I feel something that you've been working on or something's like kind of ruins your plans. I don't know if it's plans, but there's something that you're focusing on and you're trying to enjoy and there is um, a beginning that's going to come through. And I feel in the next two, three seasons, like in spring, something is going to, what's happening now or what you're working on is going to kind of come to more to a beginning or fru um, to fruition in spring. There's a sense of you being a little bit overwhelmed as well. There is a strong no answer here too, and I think this would be about where you're investing your money or um, time and energy. It's like there's a sense of generosity. It needs to be balanced. If you don't want to do something, say no, especially if it comes to investments or money. Or just say you've been um, helping someone out or overdoing it at work and you're being so kind. You know, there's a sense of no, no. And especially if there's money in um, to be invested or some kind of agreement or contract, whatever it is, with the moon here, you know, something will shed itself to light. So I think unexpectedly things will just work out for you. There is that just in the nick of time. But you have to think things through. I would definitely take my time, all right, and um, think things through before you agree to anything. You know, give it some time. There is this energy here that's telling me... Um, Taking your time, if things, you know, if you're dealing with some kind of obstacles, whatever it is, something's presented to you, you're not sure about it, delay it, okay? Because it's going to be a lot more in your favor, okay? Especially when we're seeing this here as well. This can also indicate time off, taking time off of work. Maybe you're going on vacation. Um, so, but delays, delays and thinking things through, it's definitely going to be more in your favor. It's kind of um, an up and down energy this week as well, okay? Well, like I said, not everything's going to turn out the way you thought it would be because there is something here. Dealing with delays again. This is also rebalancing things. Things could be just like a change of thought, a change of mind. A lot of this strong energy, but you do have... Um, the chariot. Okay, victory. Things just work their way. Work that things work out for you. All right. I hope you have a wonderful week. And bye for now.